What's wrong with giving someone a testicle? Like, get their consent first. Just don't call it that. What's wrong with calling it that? It's inappropriate. What's wrong with calling it that? That's what it is. Still, though. But that's what you'd call it. I know, but still. What else would you call it? I don't know, just not that. If you wanted to find out if someone was ticklish or not, you'd give them a testicle. Oh my god, Rod, shut up. That's what it is. What are you even doing? I'm ordering a limbo kit party from the internet. If you're so curious to know. And it'll be here between 5 and 8 p.m. today. Why are you buying a limbo party kit? Because I'm having a limbo party today at 8 p.m. Why are you having a limbo party? To become famous. And do you think a limbo party is going to make you famous? Well, I first have to set the bar pretty low. So do you think he'll come? Bar two. To my limbo party. I don't know. Hey, I'm stuck on this word. Which state has the only authentic Dutch windmill operating in the U.S.? How would I... Great, it's Mitch again. Michigan. Oh, hey Mitch. What's up? I've been looking for you guys. What the heck are you doing here? Hanging out? Right. So what's up, Mitch? You guys know Ava, right? Yeah. Well, we went on a date last night. As you do. And when I drove her back home, she invited me up to her apartment. So I get out the car, and we get into the elevator. And then there's this old lady in there with us, but when she got off on her floor, and the door's closed... Yeah? Ava kissed me. I know, but anyways, we go into her apartment and I ask her where the bathroom is, so freshen up, whatnot. She shows me, I wet my face a little, wet my hair, I leave the bathroom, and... And what? Her pants were off. And then what happened? Well, I called 911. Wait, what? What was I supposed to do? Her pants were off. I don't know CPR. Why would CPR help? Do you think maybe the Heimlich maneuver then? You're a medical student. How do you not know CPR? We haven't gotten to that chapter yet. You're in your third year. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean her pants were off? I mean exactly what I said. Her pants were off. Her breathing was sporadic, like she couldn't breathe. Why would you word it that way? What do you mean? Her pants were off? Yeah, her pants were off. Panting. Just shut up. Well, at least I've been with the girl, Rod. What's that supposed to mean? How far have you gone with a girl? I've gone so far. Nowhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. How far have you gone with a girl? Are you good? Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Well, show that you are so we know. At least say uh or um. My speech coach said to not have vocal pauses. Your speech coach. Yeah, my speech coach. Do you not see any problem in those pauses? My mom always told me to think before I speak. Your mom? Okay, yeah, your mom. We, we don't need to wait. That can be really dangerous, Jack. How can being sure of your answer be dangerous? What if you did that while you were driving? 
How would that be dangerous? You're completely zoning out. And? Oh my god, you need to wake up and smell the roses, Jack. <laughs> That was a weird dream. Wait, I wasn't sleeping. I wonder if they noticed. You okay, Jack? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. Jack? Yeah, 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 yeah I'm okay. Anyways, back to the subject. What's the furthest you've gone with the girl? Uh... Maybe... San Francisco. Okay... Well, after my class, I'm gonna go visit Ava at the hospital. Then I'm gonna do some light shopping, so... Do you guys need anything while I'm out? Can you get me some red ones for my dark room? Sure. Okay, well... I'll see you guys later. Okay, what are we even doing right now? Hanging out? I don't know. Yeah, but why are we at your friend's house? My friend's house? Yeah. I thought we were at your house. My house. Rod, we're roommates. How did Mitch even find us? I have no idea. Why don't we go to the casino? What the hell are we gonna do at a casino? I don't know, try the slot machines? Slot machines? Are you five? No, I'm not. That, that doesn't even make sense. Five-year-olds can't go to casinos. No, there's no point in doing slot machines. They're for casino virgins who are barely getting into gambling. But that's who we are. No, I know, but they're programmed for you to lose. You can't win with slots. You know what you are? What? What am I? You're a slot shamer. A slot shamer. Yeah, a slot really, shamer. Really, I'm a slot shamer? If you prefer slots, then that's your choice. Maybe you don't want to deal with the complexities of a more involved game and having to devote time and effort into that one single thing. Then you end up having to open yourself up to it, letting it into your life and your mind. Which in most cases just exposes you to eventual heartbreak. Doing slots is much simpler and freeing. No emotional risk at all, just one and done. We're still talking about gambling, right? Yeah. Yeah? Did you use my toothbrush again? Well? 
I don't think so. Yours is on the top shelf. Mine is on the bottom shelf. Which one did you use? It was on top of the first shelf. The first shelf from the top? Or the first shelf from the bottom? Going to the top. Great. Now I can't get ready for my party. What party? My limbo party! Who are you calling? Mitch. And you know how much I hate him. Mitch, are you still at the store? Uh-huh. Can you get me a blue toothbrush? A blue toothbrush? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, if I could even find one. Thank you. Yeah. So you guys don't have any red lights? No, sir. Hey, why do priests still wear robes? Priests? What do you mean? Like, why is that their uniform? It's just what they wear. Yeah, but like, everyone wore robes back then. So why did their uniform stay the same when the public stopped wearing robes? Well, there's still old churches being used today. Yeah, but those churches are from back then. The priests aren't. And neither are their robes. It's just tradition. Some churches have altered their beliefs, but robes are where they draw the line? They're, they're just symbolic. Like a logo? I guess. But logos are updated all the time. Yeah, but symbolic spiritually. Like with God. He likes things a very specific way. Then why do things adapt to their environment? What are you writing? An autobiography. Why? Because I'm a writer. <laughs> What's so funny? You just said you're a writer, that's all. I am. Well... Well what? No, 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 no. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. No, tell me. Well what? Well, an autobiography isn't really writing, right? You're just, like, recounting personal events. Through writing? Pen and paper? I'm a writer. You're a recounter. I'm a writer. A writer uses creativity. A recounter uses memory. Two completely different parts of the brain. Okay, you don't even know how to write. I can make up stories. No, you don't know how to write. Your penmanship is horrible. What are you talking about? My handwriting is perfect. Write your first name. This is ridiculous. See? Are you not seeing what I'm seeing? That's my name, Rod. R-O-D. B-E-N. Ben. Y you know what? What are you doing? What does this one say? Okay, that says Ben. This is your paper! You're still a recounter. Okay, we've been friends for years. How have you not known that I write? I don't know. It's as if we're in a no-budget comedy and the filmmaker made jokes for scenarios involving other characters that wouldn't know that about you. But he could only film it by himself. So he just merged the joke with us to make it work somehow. That doesn't make any sense. What's that? What, this? Yeah, that. 
My knife? Don't touch. Jeez, no. What's that beside it? My journal? Yeah. Don't touch. Okay. You're not a recounter. Thank you. You're a copy and paster. You know what? Mitch, what's wrong? Is it Ava? No, she's fine. Then what is it? I wanted to ace my blood exam, but... But what? I got a B plus. What? AB positive. I know, I'm trying to be. No, AB positive, it's your blood type, not your grade. Wait, how'd you get back so fast? You were just at the store a couple minutes ago. I didn't get any red lights. Damn! What's this? It's what you asked for. What? It's to clean your speakers. My what? Your Bluetooth speakers. No, I asked for a blue toothbrush. That is a blue toothbrush. A blue toothbrush. Not a blue toothbrush. A blue toothbrush. Oh. I, can't, I gotta go. Where to? I have to go to therapy. Therapy? When have you gone to therapy? It's my first session. Why do you have to go to therapy? Well, I may not be a happy man. Oh. Oh. Um. Right. Just make sure you're back in time for my limbo party, okay? You're having a limbo party? So just right in here? Yes, the doctor's just right inside. Hello there. Oh, hello doctor. Please, call me O'Brien. Sorry, doc. Oh, Brian. Please, have a seat. You know, your office looks almost identical to my room. Yeah, the construction company that built most of the city years ago only had one blueprint, so... The city's filled with exact copies of the same building. No, I know that, but... Why is my bed in here? That's... besides the point. What's your first name? Jack. And last name? Cass. That's your real name? Yeah, but just call me Jack. Cass. So, Jack, um, what do you do? What's your occupation? I'm a copywriter. Oh, cool. So you're in advertisement. Marketing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in legal troubles. What do you mean? I wrote and published a book that had copyrighted music in it. How does that work? It was an audiobook. Right. So you're not a copywriter, you're a plagiarizer. What are you, my lawyer? <laughs> Only according to the government. Right. But I want to be a real writer someday, uh, a screenwriter. Oh, that's good. Any progress? Well, I'm writing an autobiography to film at the moment, um, just to make sure that I'm not accidentally plagiarizing again. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what is? You said you're a writer. 
I am. Yeah, but an autobiography would make you more of a recounter, right? Well, as long as you're not just copying and pasting from a journal, you should be fine. Are you done yet? Okay, here's what I got. You are invited to my limbo party at 8 p.m. at 225 Count Street. Call to RSVP. How was that? It's not enough pizzazz. What else do I say? How about you are cordially invited to Rod's limbo party? Fancy words and speaking in third person always gets people interested. All right. And say 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Makes it sound like you're inviting people worldwide. Very important. This is some really good advice. Will there be food and drinks? Well, I didn't think about that. What do you mean you didn't think about that? You think people are going to come to your party just to limbo? But wouldn't food and drinks mess up their balance? No, they'll need food for energy to limbo. And drinks to give them the courage to limbo. Right. But I spent all my money on the limbo kit. Well, then have them bring the food and drinks. Okay. What type of people are you going to invite? Cool people. Cool people? Yeah, cool people. Like Eskimos? No, not like Eskimos. Actually, that would be pretty cool. But they have to be cool Eskimos. I don't want nerdy people at my party. Can an Eskimo be nerdy? So I'm just going to give you some made-up scenarios right now, just to get to know you a little bit better. And I want you to answer them honestly, okay? Mm-hmm. Do you travel a lot? No. I haven't really been on an actual vacation in... I don't even know how long. Do you not like traveling? No, it's not that. I love to travel, but I just can't right now. Okay. Well, if I took you to an airport right now, where would you go? How should I know? Just answer the question, where would you go? You're the one who took me there, why am I there in the first place? To go somewhere. But where? Wherever the plane takes you. But I don't know where that is. It's a simple question, where would you go? Where would you go? I'm asking the questions. Are you? Yes. So I'm not asking any questions right now? No, you're not. Are you sure? Oh my god, where would you go? I'd go to another airport. Why would you go to another airport? What do you mean, why would I go to another airport? Why would you go to another airport? What do you mean, why would I go to another airport? Is the airport I took you not good enough? No, that's not it at all. Don't take it so personal. Then why another airport? Well, of course I'd go to another airport. What do you think happens? The pilot makes the passengers randomly parachute out of the plane? No, you go to an airport, you get on the plane, that plane flies, and that plane lands at another airport. <sighs> but where would you go? I just answered that. Which is? To another airport! Okay, but where is this other airport? I'd have to ask the captain. Why would you have to ask the captain? If anyone knows where the plane is headed, it should be the captain. But you bought the plane ticket! No, you bought me that plane ticket and I just accepted it from you. Why would you accept a plane ticket without knowing where it's going? Because it's the nice thing to do when someone gives you a gift. <sighs> In this scenario, you are the one that bought the plane ticket. Why would I buy a plane ticket without knowing where it's going? If you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Right now? Yes! I'm pretty hungry right now, so probably a restaurant and get a nice burger and some fries. Oh my god. Let me just... What about Greece? Uh, Greece doesn't bother me. 
I mean, I know it's not healthy, but I just love burgers and fries. No, Grease! G-R-E-E-C-E, -E -E, Grease! What's that? You've never heard of the country Greece before? Why is it new? Is it new? No! Greece? The birthplace of democracy? Western philosophy, Alexander the Great? The, the Olympics? Oh. You mean Hellas. What? That's the country where all those things came from. <laughs> no, they're from Greece. Well, it's the Hellenic Republic right now, so... Greeks live in Greece, right? Greeks? Greece. Well, the Romans started to call them that first, and the name just stuck. But they actually called each other Hellenes. But they speak Greek. We're speaking English right now. Well, they speak Hellenic. <sighs> Never mind that. What about... <sighs> Mexico. Where? Mexico? Aztecs? Mayans? The country the U.S. borders at the south? And please don't say Mexico. Oh, you mean Anahuac. No, I do not mean Anahuac. I mean Mexico. That's what the pre-Hispanic people called their land. Anahuac means land surrounded by water. It's basically just modern day Mexico. What about Argentina? Yeah, Argentina. I know Argentina. Okay, good. Where would you want to go in Argentina? I don't know. I like the city life, but I'd want to be close to the beach if possible. Okay. Um... So what about Buenos Aires? Oh! You mean Ciudad de la Santísima Trinidad y Puerto de Santa Maria del Buenera? City of the Most Holy Trinity and Port of St. Mary of the Fair Winds? You are cordially invited to Rod's Limbo Party. I bring the bar, you bring the drinks and food. It shall commence at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at 225 Count Street. Please RSVP ASAP by phone call. Perfect. Who are we going to invite first? Let me try Drew. Drew? That guy that makes pencil art? Well, he used to. And... Send. Okay. I just gotta wait. I wonder who that- Oh, it's true! Hello, can you go? No? You can't? Okay. Bye, Drew. That's alright. Just send the text to everyone else now. Okay. Do you need to take that? No, it's fine. Okay, let's just try a different scenario. Okay, yeah, I like this. This is fun. Are you single? Who's asking? Yes, I'm single. Your choice? Okay. Well, if you were at a bar, and you saw the most beautiful girl in the world, all alone having a drink, what would you do? I wouldn't do anything. Why not? She must be married or dating someone. She's not. The most beautiful girl in the world isn't with anyone? No. That's suspicious. Whatever, but what would you do? I'd keep an eye out on her. Alright, good. So, what would you say to her? Nothing. Why? She's the most beautiful girl in the world, right? Right. And she's single? Yes. So why would she be at some shoddy bar I'm at instead of some high-class bar? She's probably a spy. Or an assassin. 
She's not a spy. So... An assassin? She's not a spy or an assassin. How do you know? Well, first of all, if she was a spy, wouldn't she be at a high-class bar instead? No, that's just in the movies. But with movie logic, it would make even more sense she's an assassin. In this scenario that I made up, she is not a spy or an assassin, she's just a regular person. Spies and assassins are regular people too. That's why it's so hard to spot them. Just... If you saw the most beautiful girl in the world, who is single and isn't a spy or an assassin, what would you do? Still nothing. Still? Well, if she's the most beautiful girl in the world and she's single, then this poor girl must have countless men constantly nagging her every single day. And? What do you mean, and? If she's at a bar by herself, she obviously wants to be left alone, and she deserves a break from men trying to hit on her. So you're not gonna shoot your shot? No, I'd be shooting my shot, I just wouldn't go up to her. What do you mean? How would he be shooting your shot? Well, she would know she's the most beautiful girl in the world, so that's not something she can overlook. So she's obviously expecting men to come up to her and talk to her. So when she sees me minding my own business and respecting her privacy, she'd know I'm different. But then what if she doesn't even come up to you? Then she's had a nice quiet night by herself like she wanted in the first place. Okay, but she is interested in you. How do you know? Did she tell you that? In this scenario, she's interested in you. Then why doesn't she come up to me? What? She... She's the most beautiful girl in the world, so of course I'm gonna be interested in her, and she would know that. But she's the only one who knows that both of us are interested in each other. So she should at least give a clear hint to me that she's interested. Well, she doesn't know if you're interested in her or not. She doesn't think I'm interested in her? Correct. Hmm. Interesting. What is? Maybe I shouldn't try to be with her. What do you mean? If the most beautiful girl in the world doesn't think I'm interested in her, then I must be the most beautiful man in the world. You're not. Am I not? No, you are not. Well, to each his own. No, you are not the most beautiful man in the world. So in this scenario, I'm not even myself? No, in this scenario, and in real life, you are not the most beautiful man in the world. So why the hell would the most beautiful girl in the world be interested in me at all? Looks aren't everything. No, I know that, but that's obviously all she's basing me on at the moment. She doesn't know me at all, she just saw me at some bar. Unless she knows everything about me because she's a spy. No. Okay. Or an assassin. Let's say she's interested in you because you didn't come up to talk to her like you said, so she knows you're different. Well, okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So, what would you do? Nothing. Nothing? What? I can't do anything, I still need her to make the first move. <sighs> she's interested in me because I didn't hit on her and she knows I'm different from the other guys. But then if I do hit on her, then I'd be just like the other guys and she'd lose interest in me. But you're the man. Thanks, but that doesn't really change my decision. No, you're the man in this scenario, so you have to go up to her first. Why? Because you're the man! Why can't she come up to me? Aren't I worth it? You're expecting the most beautiful girl in the world to make the first move on you? Looks aren't everything. Oh my god. Besides, she'd be able to be with anyone she wants. And if she's still single, do you think she's following societal norms? I think not. If she had, she would have been married a long time ago. Most likely to a man she ended up not loving within a couple years of marriage. But is stuck with him because they had an unplanned child. And now hates what her life has become. But she's single by choice, so she must know what she's looking for. <sighs> if you saw the most beautiful girl in the world, who was single, and not a spy, 
and not an assassin, and you knew she was interested in you, and you knew she wanted you to come up to her, what would you do? I'd go up to her. Okay. And what would you say? I'm not sure I'd have to think about it. You came up to her without anything to say? I mean, I haven't gone up to her yet. I will, but once I figure out what to say. Just go up to her and say hi, it's that simple. Are you crazy? Isn't that how actual conversations start? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But what the heck do I say after I say hi? I don't know, you don't have like a pickup line or anything? You think I can just use some random pickup line on the most beautiful girl in the world? You don't use bait for a trout when you're trying to catch a blue tang. Excuse me? A blue tang? It's a type of surgeon fish. Like Dory from Finding Nemo? The blue one? Okay... New scenario, I guess. Let's hope to god that we can get somewhere with this one. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're obviously intelligent, but you're clearly an idiot. Tough crowd. Hello, can you go? No. Okay. Bye. So all of the invitations have been sent? Yeah. How many people have you invited? About 50. 50? Give or take 20. Do you know 50 people? No, I don't know, okay? Hello, can you go? You can't? Your son's graduation is tonight. Your pet's graduation. Kitty garden. Right. Okay. Bye. Are you coming to my party? Uh, I can't. I have plans, sort of, but no. Oh, okay. What about Jack? He hasn't RSVP'd yet. I'm sure he will. Maybe nobody likes me. Maybe I won't become famous and I'm destined to die alone. Broad, what are you doing? Rod, don't do it. Rod, look at me, don't do it! you, I would do it. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, if you were me, you wouldn't do it. How could you say that I would do it if I were you? No, you wouldn't, because I wouldn't do it. Yes, but I'd be you. No, if you were me, you would be me. You would be all of me. You would think like me, and you would do what I would do, and I wouldn't do it, so if you were me, you wouldn't do it. Okay, our time is up. Do you have any questions? How did the bald man get into the Wake Museum? That's not what I meant. He had to pay. Do you have ADD? Is that how much the session's gonna cost? What? ADD. Eighty dollars? 
Get out. But I haven't paid for the session. I don't care. I don't want any record of you being here, ever. Not even financially. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Oh, one last thing. Would you want to come to my friend's limbo party tonight? Just leave. Mitch? What? Mitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you pull your mask down? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Where is he? He's in our room. How is he? He's hurt and unresponsive. Can I see him? Rod? I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. More often than I have been. I know we've had our differences, but... I'm just... I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> You're alive? You're alive? You said he was hurt and unresponsive! He is hurt and unresponsive. How? Nobody RSVP'd for his party, and he's refusing to speak. That's not what that... Where's that beeping sound coming from? Oh, yeah. Our smoke detectors. They need new batteries. What about my knife? You said he took it. Yeah, he took it. Because you took his toothbrush. Something about collateral damage or, I or something like I that. I didn't steal your toothbrush. Know. He became unresponsive midway through that sentence. There! You happy now? Are you coming to my party? Of course I am. Why would you think I wouldn't? Well, Mitch isn't. I was kidding. Oh. What time is it right now? Seven. Okay, and when's the party? Eight. Is everything ready for it? More or less. Not at all. Well, what do we need? We're still waiting for the limbo kit to be delivered. Okay, well, the time frame was between five and eight. So we still have time for it to show up. You remember the time frame? Shut up, we don't have time. Do we need food and drinks? Well, the attendees are bringing food and drinks, so... Not that covered, but... We need music, so... Speaker, I guess? Okay, well... I have a speaker somewhere, so I'll go get it. You guys are gonna help me? Obviously, we're roommates.
Someone will come. I'm sure someone will come. Sure. How was your therapist? He was therapist. He kept yelling at me. Tough crowd. That's what I said. Wait, Jack. You thought Rod was in a coma, right? Uh-huh. But you stopped at the store to buy him a new toothbrush? What's wrong with that? Why didn't you just come straight over? Why would I? I thought you were in a coma. Exactly. Why didn't you rush over? Why would I have to rush if you were in a coma? What time is it? Nine. Wait, it says the limbo kit was delivered at eight. Is it here? No, but I think our neighbors across the street are having a party. What are the odds that they would have a party at the same time we're supposed to? Weird. Rod. Yeah? What's our address? 225 Count Street. So why did you put 224 Count Street on the invitation? Five looks like a four. Huh. My handwriting is horrible. But you, you typed, typed it! it. <sighs> I have to say, building a city with one blueprint is just stupid and confusing. That's not even the problem, though. Wait. So they have my limbo kit? Yes. And everyone I invited is there? Yeah. And they're having my limbo party there. Believe it. People actually came to my party. But just look at my party. It's so fun. It's so amazing. I'm so cool. Successful party. Successful limbo party at that. Right. Well, we could limbo here if you want. Just the three of us. Yeah, we could use a broom. Yeah, a broom. Or something. Or something. Nah, that's alright. I don't know how to play Limbo. Maybe the three of us are just a couple of idiots. A few. Bless you. No, you mean a few. Bless me? No, you said the three of us are a couple of idiots. You mean a few. A couple is two. I don't think so. A couple means two or more. No, a couple means two. A few is three or more. Then what's several? Isn't it five or more? No, it's seven or more. I don't think so. Seven. Several. If you had severe back pain, would you have seven spines? No, obviously not. Maybe it just means the pain level is a seven or higher.
Yeah, I got the mail. What? What are you doing? Having breakfast? What's with all that lip smacking and moaning? The food is good. It's just cereal! It's good! You sound like a puppy eating peanut butter for the first time. I'm sorry, is my enjoyment offending you too? Your enjoyment? No. The sound of two newlyweds on their wedding night directly across the table from me while I'm trying to have my coffee in peace? Yes, I'm offended. That's disgusting. Mmm. You're a food moaner. A food moaner? Yeah, a food moaner. You moan with your food. You sound like Helen Keller drinking soup out of a plate. You're offending me now. Oh, are we? How does it feel? I'm gonna go. No, please, Mr. Food Moaner. Sit down and enjoy life at other people's expense. Just shut your mouth and eat your food. Y you first! Where are you going? The hospital. I got a 12-hour shift. Hopefully nobody needs CPR when you're there. What's wrong? This is everything? Yeah. Why? Hey boss, this is Jack. Uh, I didn't get my check in the mail, and I just wanted to know if it was sent out. Yes, it should have came in the mail this morning. Well, I didn't get it. I see. Hmm. Well, what you can do is contact the post office. Right. Okay. And if that doesn't work out, just come in and we can figure something out. Okay. Thanks, boss. Do you need help? City Post Office, how may I help you? Hi, I didn't get a check in the mail today, but my work said I should have gotten it this morning. Alright, what is your first name? Jack. And last name? Cass. That's your real name? Yeah, but just call me Jack. Yes. Okay, year of birth? 1996. And address? 225 Count Street. Okay. I'm sorry, but we don't have a Jack Cass at 225 Count Street. But we have a Jack Cass on 224 Count Street. Sir? Yeah, that's me. Um, I thought you said you lived on 225 Count Street, not 224. No, I, I do. My roommate just put in the wrong number. Um, okay. Would you like to update your current address then? Yes, please. Thank you. Unfortunately, you cannot change it over the phone. You will need to come in to change it, sir. Okay, I'll come in right now then. Unfortunately, it's by appointment only. Okay, fine. I'll make an appointment. Excellent. What's your first name? You got my name already. I'm required to ask again, sir, just to make sure. Okay, my name is Jack. Last name? Cass. Year of birth? 1996. And what's your address? 
What? What's your address, sir? Seriously? Yes, sir. 225 Count Street. Okay. I'm sorry, but we don't have that name for that address in our records. We have it for 224 Count Street. I know, that's what the appointment is for. Yes, but we only schedule appointments with those in our system with the correct address. Just put in the address you have me with in the system to set up the appointment then. Smart thinking. Okay. 224 Count Street. And you're all set. Thank you. No problem, sir. We'll send a letter out by tomorrow to 224 Count Street, and it will have the date and time for your appointment. Hi. Hello? This is 224 Count Street, right? Yes. I'm Jack. I live across the street from you. 225 Count Street. Okay. I think my check was sent to your address on accident. I didn't get nothing. Right. Okay. Also, I think you got my friend's limbo kit yesterday. I didn't get nothing. Right. Thank you for your time. Hey, Rod. Rod? Yeah? What are you doing down there? Oh, well, you know, just... living my life. <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna go talk to my boss about my check. Okay. Well... I'll be here. So, Jack, what can I do for you? He told me to come in. And I thank you for that. And? And what? My check? Oh, I can send it through direct deposit. Can you just rewrite it? I don't have a bank account right now. Well, I can't rewrite a check for you since it's already been sent in the mail but I can rewrite a check and send it in the mail again, if that's better. So you can rewrite the check and send it in the mail, but you can't just hand it to me right now? Correct. So you want me to do that? No, the post office has the wrong address. Direct deposit is the way to go then. Okay, I guess I'll have to go to the bank right now. You couldn't just tell me this over the phone? Can you meet me at the bank and bring your wallet? Okay, yeah, I'll be right over. Thanks for getting me out of there. I really needed a break. Alrighty diddly bop. Hello sire, my name is Winston. How may I be of service today? I'd like to open up a bank account. Alrighty diddly bop, can I see your ID? Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. Jack. Cats. 225. Can't Alrighty diddly bop. Okay, it'll be $50 to open the account. Can I see your wallet? What? It's empty. Yes. Where's your money? I don't have any. What? 
I spent it all on my limo kit. Why do you think I would have asked you for your wallet then? To put money in it? Oh my god. Well, where's your money? I spent it all on my camera. What camera? My film camera. I've never seen a camera. $50, sire. I don't have it. Sadly, you have insufficient funds to open the account with us. But, but you will. I just need the account for direct deposit. Yes, but you need $50 up front to open the account, sir. No, I heard you. Did you hear me? I think so. What did I say? You asked if I heard you. Okay, I have a check uh -huh. that I can only obtain through direct deposit. Uh -huh. So I need this account uh -huh. to get that check deposited. Uh -huh. And once the account is open, uh -huh. I'll be able to pay that $50 fee. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Sadly, you have insufficient funds to open the account with us. Jack. I have to go to the bathroom. Why would you have to tell me that? Is he your big brother? No, he's my roommate. What, what can I do right now? So what you can do is bring in a physical check, and we can open the account that way. If I had that physical check, why would I be here right now? Where is the check? It was sent to the wrong address. I see. What you should do is contact the post office then. I did already. Oh, so it's all worked out then. I'm gonna leave. Alrighty, did leave up. Have a great day, sire. Hey, Rod, are you in here? Okay, let's just go. They're not gonna help me. What are you doing? We're going around the place. Why? So we have enough money for you to open an account. What? I said so we have enough. No, I know what you said. So you agree? No, I do not agree. Oh, well I said- No, I know what you- Why do you have to steal things all the time? No, I don't. Stop lying to yourself. Everyone lies to themselves. You're a kleptomaniac. What do you mean? I mean you have a problem stealing. Don't you mean I have no problem stealing? Okay, whatever, let's go. Okay. No, we're leaving. <sighs> Fine. Leave that here. What? Happy. Happier. What are you doing now? I guess I have to go home and get back to work. What about you? I don't know. 
Maybe the hospital. See if Mitch could lend me 50 bucks. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. See ya. Get up slowly. Put your hands up. Turn around. Give me all your money. Excuse me. Give me all your money. I don't have any. Oh, you don't? No. How about now? That doesn't change anything. Is that a belly button piercing? No. Just give me your money. I don't have any. Well, what do you have? I have an ID. Fine, just give it to me. Yeah, stop complaining. Bye. Bitch, can I borrow fifty bucks? Wait. You have a phone? You're awake. Where am I? What happened? You're at the hospital. You were hit by a vehicle. An ambulance took you here. And you've been in a coma. But it's okay. You've sustained no injuries. What's your name? I've been in a coma for how long? 37. 37 years? 37 minutes, sir. Where's my phone? The paramedics saw someone steal it after they got you. After? Did they see who hit me? I already said, sir. What's your name? But who hit me? An ambulance took you here. Yes, I heard that part, but who hit me? An ambulance, sir. What? An ambulance took you here. It hit you, which is why you're here. What? Here's your bill. Ten thousand dollars? Precisely. We just need you to write your name here. But you guys hit me! Well, it's a good thing they were there when you got hit. How is it a good thing? Well, our first responders' average response time has drastically improved, and is now in the top 300 in the state. Because they caused it! Well, they arrived instantly. Because they caused it. What's your name, sir? You guys hit me, but I have to pay for the ambulance ride? You could have said no to the ambulance. I would have said no. But sir, you were in a coma. Because you hit me! You're in shock. Why would I have to pay for a decision I didn't make? Well, our first responders made that decision for you. They should pay for it then. They saved your life. Because they almost took it!
Dr. Blair speaking. Yes, he's here. We don't know his name yet. He doesn't have an ID on him and he refuses to sign the bill. So I'll give him the concussion test to get his information. Yeah, like we usually do. Once we get his information, we'll be able to track him down at any time and he'll have to pay the bill someday. Yeah, okay. You too. Alright, just to make sure you don't have a concussion, I'm going to ask a few identifying questions. What's your name, date of birth, address, and social security? Right. All right, Ava, we just have to get you standing now and get you into some new clothes. from room 101. Is this you? Have you seen anyone, Mitch? Mitch, are you there? Mitch. I can't lie until my shift is over at 8.
What the hell was that? I can't lie on the job. What are you doing anyways? What's happening? I'm escaping. Why? An ambulance hit me and they want me to pay for it. <sighs> Damn Steven again. Again? Where are you going? I'm gonna visit Ava real quick. Right. Fourth floor. Oh, you saw her? Maybe. How is she? Amazing. Her pants were off. Still? I thought they had it under control. He's on the first floor. Hello, sir. Hola, señor. Oh, are you Simon, the Spanish sperm donor? Simon. Where's Mitch? I thought he got off at eight. He went to see Ava right after. What happened to you? A mugger stole my ID, I got hit by an ambulance, the mugger then stole my phone, and then I had to escape the hospital. Wow. How did the mugger get an ambulance to hit you? Hey Mitch. Rod. Jack. Mitch? Is everything all right between you two? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, Jack, how's your writing going? It's, um... It's, it's going. Can I read it? Well, it's still only in journal entry format, so... I thought you said you were a writer. I am. What? You're just copying and pasting. Copy and paster. Yeah, a copy and paster. Well, I wrote it before. You were a writer, but now you're a copy and paster. Oh my god, I know what I am. Is that my phone? I thought you said your phone was stolen. It was. Are you gonna answer it? I can't, no one's calling. What? What is it? It's my ID and check. Did you guys do this? Where did they go? I don't know. How did all of those things end up in your pocket? I don't know. Your check didn't come in the mail, right? Right. And didn't that man steal your ID and phone? Yes. Are you sure? Jack? Is everything all right, Jack? Jack? I... Something's wrong. Like what? I'm... I'm not here right now. Where are you then? I'm at home. So you're not in my office right now? No.
This doesn't make any sense. Are you getting confused? I'm already confused. Isn't it ridiculous that an entire city would use the same blueprint for every building? It could make sense, but why would your bed be in my office? Why is my bed in here? What about us? What about you? We're roommates, right? Yeah. So why do we only have one bed? What about the gun Rod had? The mugger took it. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I saw him have it, didn't I? Did you? What year is it? 1984. If it's 1984, then how were you born in 1996? I don't know. Check your bag. What bag? How can that gun be in your bag? That isn't my bag, that's Rod's. Is it? I don't understand. Pull the trigger. What? Pull. The. Trigger. It's a prop. Why did you call it that? It's fake. But why did you call it a prop? I don't know. Think. I am. Where's your camera? What camera? I spent it all on my camera. What camera? There. Was that camera there the entire time? Yeah. I've never seen it. Wasn't it a film camera? No. Can you get me some red ones from my darkroom? My film camera! Yes. But it doesn't use film, does it? No, it doesn't. How can it be a film camera? I don't know. Read your journal, Jack. It has the truth. No, I don't want to. Read your journal! Dear Journal, Dear Journal, Today I bought a video camera. I plan to use it to make films soon. The only problem is that I don't have anyone to act in my films, so I will have to do it all by myself. I have a basic idea for two characters to help me. Read the next entry. I have decided to name the two characters Rod and Mitch. Continue reading. Rod is an unpopular guy who is constantly seeking approval from others. Wow, that hurts. Mitch is a popular medical student. 
although he takes things very literally. Wait, I thought Rod was the kleptomaniac. Next entry. My family doesn't understand, and they want me to go to therapy. But Rod and Mitch are my family now. Oh, how sweet. I don't understand. You're in a film, Jack. Your film. The film you're filming. You feel me? We don't exist. We're just characters you made up. That you play as. What? Your dream hasn't become a reality yet, so... Instead, you made your film your reality. It's December 14th, 1984. 1984 is just the setting of the film. It's 2022, Jack. This can't be real, this can't be real. That's what we're trying to tell you. Stop joking around! Jack? You're stuck in this state. What state? Prolonged uncertainty. Limbo. You have two choices. Continue making films until you find success, but possibly staying in this false reality forever. Or what? Or simply quit and escape. What if I do find success? But what if you never do? So, what will it be, Jack? Just, I need some time. Oh my god, Rod, shut up. What are you even doing? I'm ordering a limbo kit party from the internet. If you're so curious to know. And it'll be here between 5 and 8 p.m. today. Why are you buying a limbo party kit? Because I'm having a limbo party today at 8 p.m. Why are you having a limbo party? To become famous. And do you think a limbo party is going to make you famous? Well, I first have to set the bar pretty low. Well. 